Hey, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on? It's Big Drank, not the little one. I appreciate y'all for coming back. We got a dope video for y'all. 1090 Jake, the known snitch exposure, the known rat slayer himself. You know what I'm saying? His friend, King Brizzy, King Breezy, whatever it is, one of his fellow bloods out in Florida has been exposed for snitching, and 1090 hasn't come to say anything about it. The rat slayer himself has no words for his homie, King Breezy. Now, let's get right into it, man. Like I said at the beginning, I thank y'all for coming back. Hit that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this down below. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification so you don't miss anything. I want y'all to be able to get all these videos, man. Get all this great content. I do it for fun, but I do it for y'all too, man. Let's get into it. Like I said, 1090, the rat slayer himself. His homie has snitched it. He hasn't said anything about it. Shout out point and shoot too for the original right, so this content. This video is going to be extremely important. So 1090 Jake's best friend, King Brizzy from Fort Myers, Florida, has recently been declared a snitch. That's some, some real official black and white right there. That's some real official black and white right there. To a lot of people, since 1090 Jake's supposed to be this like rat slayer of the internet, he exposes anyone who's even slightly notable for snitching. And so his best friend, King Brizzy, is now a known rat scoundrel, but we haven't seen a video from 1090 Jake about it, uh, further exposing him. But it does appear that 1090 Jake and King Brizzy have unfollowed each other on socials, and it looks like 1090 Jake just posted on his story that he's working on a big... Okay, so he uh, has come and said that he's like going to do a video. As of now, he hasn't so. done a video, and this has been out for a little minute. Prior to this uh, point and shoot video, this has been no known for a little minute to make the video. Otherwise, it, he's not going to be standing on business. And so he, it looks like, has turned on King Brizzy, which is really devastating for him because he idolizes King Brizzy. He worships him. He wants to be King Brizzy. And I'm going to show you evidence of that. Uh, and this is all alleged. This is all just my opinion. But I want to show you guys uh, some very interesting clips that I think tell a story and it's about uh, 1090 Jake stealing stories from other people and this King Brizzy guy doing the same thing or maybe 1090 Jake stealing from King Brizzy. I don't know, but these clips. Bro, what the fuck kind of tattoos does bro have on his face? He has a, a, a music clef or whatever the fuck. Some stars. No, I don't got nothing to say about that because he's a blood. So I have nothing to say about the star. Star's kind of clean. Is that a king? No, nah, that's, that's a regular star. Five pointed on. Okay, I thought it was a King of Davis star for a second. I'll be high as fuck. No disrespect. He's got something above his right eye that's on the left. His head is. Oh, his hair is tat. His head tat is the best part because he's got an infinite lineup. It's a never ending lineup. The lineup will never not be perfect because it's a head tat. So that's a good idea. The fuck is he got going on? <laughs> Exactly what I'm talking about, starting with the first Look, clip. So for this first clip, I want to show you uh, 1090 Jake explaining that he knew who King Brizzy was in prison. He knew where he was located. He knew all about him. He was a huge fan of his while they were locked up. I didn't know you inside of prison. I just knew of you. But there was a time when we were in confinement together at Lancaster. I was upstairs. I believe you were on the bottom tier. And you were getting on the door rapping and singing. That was the first time. I heard your music. Wow, so 1090 Jake knew all about King Brizzy. He knew his location. He knew his whereabouts. He knew his name. He knew his cell. What the fuck kind of weird obsession did 1090 Jake have with this guy is what I'm wondering. He's like, that was the first time that I heard your music, and it really changed me. It made me feel some type of Whoa. way inside my body. Pause that. I hey, yo, point and mad. shoot. What are you talking so about, bro? Really what are you talking weird. about, though? homo erotic and so they're talking about this song that king brizzy made up and it's just the shittiest fucking song it's so cringe but not to 1090 jake 1090 jake is glazing over this song he loves this song this is his favorite song ever is it cringe like though why, why are you gonna do this now this is very cringe okay cringe warning you. wait a second this is the bro who used to sing this was the singer homie that 1090 You know that I am a demon. Remember the nights roaming around but being cautious. Cause I've committed sins, I gotta deal with in the coffin. It's written in blood. It's the conspiracy to silence. All right, so that song fucking sucks. He's singing in this weird, like, Skante singing voice. I mean, this was really terrible. 
And Jake's acting like this was fucking amazing. The, his voice was amazing. I, I am a demon. I mean, what a fucking joke. Yo, right? I was going to say, who the who fuck is this? Is this? this guy standing behind him like he's in <laughs> He looks like he's getting ready to do some fucking. And so that was the song. And this was, uh, this is important because this shows how stupid the whole story truly is. Now, this is going to get crazy. This next part is this where it gets good. 1090 Jake is about to go into the cutting, Jake's cutting, cutting stories. stories are all real and there's no, there nothing wrong with his cutting stories. They're cutting edge. Why do you got to say something about his cutting stories, brother? Everybody knows that they were all real. He never lied about anybody he cut in prison, bro. I don't even, like, you got to stop hating. You hating on 1090 Jake right now. He about to tell you about his life, bro. And you're going you're gonna to sit here and tell him that he's telling you is a lie? That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. He did. They did. Yeah, I got cut here to here. He that is. Got hit. And I was a uh, the great, he white, was. great white blood. He was uh, getting cut. He was cutting, and that was what was always fascinating. They were. About his, uh, Jake's you better not jump on that mic. Always getting cut. You better and, not uh, slashed superficially. No one ever got stabbed. It seemed like no one ever had to get you know flown out for to a trauma. Y'all almost saw me ten ninety Jake my cat <laughs> for getting shanked twelve times in the. That means I was going to uh, I mean, ignore my cat. Just sneaking up on each other and gently cutting them. So they're not trying to like, like delete anyone. If you know what I mean, they're, they're trying to just inconvenience them with minor cuts. So this next clip is going to be 1090 Jake asking a bizarre question, by the way, he says, when was your first time cutting somebody and wait until you hear the idiotic lie story that comes out of this guy's mouth. This King Brizzy tells the stupidest. Yo, why does he he sound so like him? Cutting somebody. Fuck. Me, you know, we watch TV, movies, this and that, video games, it's guns, guns, guns. But now in this new element is razors, knives. How was the experience for you? It was, uh... So there was never any knives and movies you better not. guns, 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 no knives. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm surprised he hasn't seen American Me. He's so obsessed with this prison shit. How was the experience for you? It was, uh... You were nervous and, and the rest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My okay, what is so funny? What is it? Were you nervous and shit? <laughs> uh, there's nothing funny about this. The, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of someone who's talking to a girl. What? Point, this point, 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 point. Like this sort you're of, on point. Funny. That's all I'm going to say is that you're on point. Flirt. With the guy, almost like, like we have the same thought pattern. Time, like, were you nervous? <laughs> I mean, what is that? I mean that is one hundred percent flirting. This is like what P that sounds like what P nice sounds like. <laughs> like, like uh, <laughs> that was so good. That was so listen good. Listen to this story that King Brizzy gives about how he cut someone in prison. This is really stupid. Man, yeah. <laughs> My first one was bro, that shit was so crazy because I had a Now that on sounded me. like why he sleep, grab his face. in prison because i had a creep man, yeah. <laughs> my first one was bro that shit was so crazy because i had a creep up on you why he what if i just left the video right face. there like and he that was his first one he had to creep up on him while he was asleep from behind and, and grab his face okay and yanked down oh you got him while he was sleeping i caught him while he was sleeping That's, okay, yeah you could have killed him why didn't you on. at that time we were going up uh, we're going through with, with the cut through. So he snuck up on another guy while he was asleep and grabbed him by the face and then cut him in the face. That doesn't make any sense. Why are you grabbing him by the face to get him to hold still? He's asleep. What? So this is a made up story. This sounded good in his head. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll act like I grabbed him by the face and then I cut him. That doesn't make any sense. It, 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 it like when you're that stupid and you think of uh, something like that to, to reenact, you're bound to get into trouble. I mean, so that's how that shit went. But that shit was crazy. The the, the first cut. Oh, after you, that, you though, I get, broke you, in. Yeah, you were good after that. <laughs> after that, I broke in. I was so you didn't, you didn't get caught for that first one. Nah, nah, and I ain't get didn't, caught for a lot. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> like, like what I said though, the first. You cut, didn't get you didn't crazy. get caught for a lot. I was straight after that. What do you mean you were straight <laughs> after that? I don't understand. Can you explain why the first cut was so crazy? Was that your first time doing violence? Why would the cut so bother you if you've been out here doing your thing? I know it's a more intimate thing. I don't know, but I mean, it's obvious. It's a more intimate thing in comparison to shooting a gun. But, but like, 
Why would that bother you so much? It's violence. It's violence. And also, you didn't care about this person. It's the op. I want you guys to listen to this clip about King Brizzy talking about getting slashed in the face. Now, we all know that 1090 Jake famously got slashed in the face when he was walking to the chow hall. Now, I want you to listen to King Brizzy's story about getting slashed in the face and listen to how strikingly similar the two stories are. Listen to this. It's almost like Jake stole this story and told it as his own. So you, where'd you get cut at? I got cut at something uh, going to the chow hall. I got cut right here. And how did that uh how did that play out? I mean, he cut me, but I beat the shit out of him. Yeah, <laughs> tell, tell, tell you that, but I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> when you got cut, did you feel it? Nah, not not immediately. I felt it after, like yeah, I didn't feel it either. Yeah, your adrenaline. So the go question to that I have here is: Is Jake stealing uh, King Brizzy's story, or are they both stealing? Not gonna lie, why can't they both have a similar These story? I mean, the people like that I've heard shit. of that have gotten cut versus being stabbed. They de- I mean, it seems consistent, like, people who get cut, especially if you're in, like, a situation where there's a high amount of adrenaline, they don't really feel it. Like, the slice cut versus, uh, um, stabbing. I've heard people who get stabbed say they felt that shit, and it was fucking atrocious. But being, um, sliced, usually I hear, especially if it's a really sharp blade, I mean, you can slice yourself with a sharp-ass blade and not feel it. I mean, without adrenaline, you doing something. I mean, maybe it is the adrenaline, you know, you know, I've been, like, I would slice myself or like in a situation where I needed to something, you know, maybe cut something and I was already trying to cut it. So my adrenaline's up and then I cut myself on accident, sharp blade, cut through the thing, whatever. I, I, but there's reasons as to why. And there's plenty of stories that cooperate not feeling a slice. I'm not going to do that. Come on. Come on, point and shoot. Come on. When you got cut, did you feel it? Nah. The face, I didn't feel pain. The chow hall thing, like, though. <laughs> uh, going to the chow hall, I got to cut right here. You know what I mean? So I walked in the child hall, start going down the stairs, boom, I get hit. With a with a person that I ain't even know was pretty much a big dog in their own little group. The head homie comes over, he comes to my cell. Come to find out who I'm speaking with is from Come on, man. And who was the gang that they were tied flags with? Uh, the Sudanios, 13s. And you didn't like them? Oh, That's crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. Not. Why the fuck are we tired flags? So as you can see, at this I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. There is no shortage of similarities between these two uh, and their stories, and it's deeply concerning. And that brings me to my next point, which is that I believe that the cut that Jake has on the side of his face in this photograph is self-inflicted. What? I believe that Jake put this Stop. cut on the side of his face purely Stop. to get his picture taken. Stop trying to cut up wires, cool trying to eat up wires. Stop face. it. It's a very cinematic cut. So it's very suspicious to me. He says that he was cut from behind. I would I would expect a more horizontal, a more uh, disorganized cut. This is a very, like I said, very cinematic cut that makes him look really cool. And he's very proud of the photo, obviously. And he knew that every compound you go to, every new prison you go to, you get a new picture taken. So he, what he did was, in my opinion was right before he got transferred, he slashed his own face, and then he fucking went to the new place, got a new photograph, (laughs) so that he could have a dope-ass wristband. Does that make sense? So that he could have a dope-ass wristband. I want to play you uh, Jake explaining that he knows the whole deal. Listen to this. And that's how I have the picture of me with the fresh three-day cut on my face because every new compound you hit, they take a picture. So I use that picture when I started my channel. It's the only picture that exists of me at 19 years old. Wow. And you can see the seven inch cut. They measured it. And so I'm just highly suspicious of this cut. Like if he got cut like from directly in front of him and the person like just raked down with the blade, then yeah, sure. It could go uh, vertical. But if you're behind someone, how do you, you'd really have to reach around there. That's really incredible. Or maybe it's all just bullshit. So I want to play you uh, so a little bit more of King Brizzy telling crazy lie stories that just don't add up. Listen to this fucking story. You got to think I'm drenched now. Complete blood. Yeah. So when it drenched now, I run upstairs. I go grab my lock. Lock in the finger. Lock. Okay, okay. He rushed so up, got the lock in the finger. About to put that work. Yeah, I ain't going to log on with a bang. Yeah. So now when they come into the room, though, they see the police coming in. 
So when the police coming in, they run downstairs, but I'm chasing them now. So when I, I go down there, the police trying to like, Rivera, stop, stop, get on the ground. Me personally, I ain't getting on no ground. You got to spray me. You got to tackle me. You got to do all that fly shit. Yeah. So I end up just rocking out. I end up Wow, so he's like a, the most savage, most ruthless, and most vicious champion. He's fighting everyone. He's fighting the cops. He refuses to get down. He's just a, a major hero. And it just sounds like total like nonsense. And Jake's just like, yeah. 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 That sounds pretty good. Yeah. It, to me, it just sounds like bullshit. You know what I mean? Like these, these types of stories. And now that King Brizzy, notarized. according to this paperwork is a, a notarized snitch at this point, we can't believe a word that he says. And the fact that Jake vouched for him so much and was such close friends with him. I mean, how could you not? Yeah. Now this is very lies. interesting. I do want to know you, you guys, know let me mean? know. Shout out point and shoot. Like I said, for the original content there, but let's bring it back to the original face cam here. Big face cam. <laughs> let me know. What do you guys think? I mean, 1090 Jake has uh, supported King Brizzy through, throughout his endeavors uh, ever since I've, of 1090 jake's channel i i know of this story not this specific snitching story but i know of these two stories being similar you know the stabbings to the faces i haven't seen it be put to this uh type of a uh, of a through a magnifying glass you know through this type of scrupulous fucking uh interrogation or or just investigation i guess somebody put them right side by side looking at them that way and investigating and, and just seeing that they are so 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 similar copying so many of the same elements or having so many of the same elements that it looks to be like they're copying uh, each other's story. Um, but I did know of King Brizzy, that he's a singer, somebody from, you know, Tampa, that Jake knew from jail or prison, whatever the fuck Jake likes to say that he went through. I, I don't remember at this point. It's been a while since I was really engaging with his content to that degree. But um, what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think of 1090 finally coming around to have something to say about his, uh, his homie's story? I guess he's going to cover it um, at some point. I get, you know, point and shoot, put up the post. He put it on a Snapchat or his IG that he was going to get into it. He's got a script coming. So it looks like he'll be covering it to some point. So we'll, or, or to some degree. So at the, at the time that he does, we'll definitely have a reaction. We'll hold him to, to making sure that he stays, uh, you know, objective here and doesn't hold anything back when he covers his friend. Let me know what you guys think down below, man. What do you think of this whole situation? Do you think 1090 and King Brizzy have some kind of uh, collaborated story, cooperated story? You know, do you think they're copying each other's story? This is something made up. Point Shoot brought a lot of good points in regards to the angles of the slashes and how their stories match up way too much for them to be just individual stories that each other happen to have. You know what I mean? As well, just let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think King Brizzy's going to, uh, or what do you think 1090 Jake's, decision or or his final uh verdict on king brizzy snitching will be do you think he's going to be objective or do you think he's going to have the uh the fact that his homie or his his friend is is somebody who inspires him you think that's going to keep him um you know a bit subjective here in his opinion he'll play a little bit of favorites or or you think he's just going to keep it completely objective and be a hundred percent about what his friend did there hey like i said hit the comment section i want to hear from you guys love y'all thank y'all for coming back to another one is drank welcome to drank world spin the block Hit the notification button, spin the block, come back for the next videos. If you turn on the notifications, you'll always know when I post. Subscribe to man. I love y'all. See what the fuck's going on. Oh, there's probably a video here, like like over here. And then there's probably a video right here. Or a card up here. Just click all that shit.